Hey everyone, so this video is going to be a kind of an announcement video, but just kind of a um, birthday haul, my first birthday haul. So my birthday is on Sunday, January 16th, and I'm going to be turning 20, I always do that, 21, 21, 21. Um, I'm really excited. Um, for those of you, well most of you probably don't know, because I don't think I've ever really said it on here, but I'm not a real big partier. Um, I never really have been. Oh my goodness, I'm having like an insane hair day today. There's like curls wazoo back here. <laughs> um, I'm not a big drinker, so I wasn't really planning on making my birthday a big deal. Um, you know, it's not, um, all my friends are back home in Ohio, um, except for a few of the ones that I've made at school. But, like, my best friends and everyone is back home. So, you know, I wasn't really going to um, make this, oh, like, a huge deal. It wasn't a big deal to me. I don't party. So, look at this hair. It's driving me nuts. There. Okay, that's better. Uh, yeah. So, I was going to, um, we were just going to go to, like, my aunt was going to take me to, like, um, you know, a nice dinner or whatever, and that was really going to be it, because I really, because I don't party, it's not a big deal to me. So, a few weeks ago, she told me not to make any plans, because she had made the plans for my birthday, and I was like, okay, well, you know, what are we doing? And um, I wanted to invite a few of my friends from school if we were going to be going to dinner, if they could afford to go. Um, but she's like, who do you want to invite? And she kind of was keeping it like this whole giant surprise. So, you know, that was fine. Whatever. I'm all down with surprises. Um, so, she's gotten, she got into last night. I had already found out where I was going. So, it kind of ruined the surprise. But there was another surprise, um, that I didn't know about. Um, that she ended up blurting out to me last night. So, some of my family is coming down to celebrate my birthday. Um, my parents are not coming, though. Neither is my brother. Uh, but that sucks. Um, but my three aunts are coming, and so is my grandma, um, to celebrate my 21st with me. So, unfortunately, I'm not having my family, but, you know, it sucks. But anyways, so that's not what this video was meant to be. Um... Basically, what I wanted to do, I got a package yesterday from my best friend. She sent my birthday gift, and I wanted to show you. I thought, I opened it yesterday, and I recorded opening it, but I thought it was such a unique gift that it was worth showing you guys, so I wanted to go ahead and just do it in this video. So, she told me not to open it until my birthday, but I opened it a couple days early. I just couldn't help it. Don't tell me that when you get a package in the mail, you're not like, oh my gosh, I want to open it. So I did. <laughs> so here it is. And as you can see, all over the box, it says fragile. So I was like, okay, she got me something breakable. So I opened it. And on top was, now it's on the bottom, obviously. Of course, it's on the bottom. But on top was, if I can find it, this little letter. And this stuff is, doesn't go in any particular order, but on top it says, there was this little letter um, on this bright pink paper. It says, 21 gifts for 20, your 21st birthday. Night on the Town Survival Kit. Tara. I wish I could be there for your 21st, but hopefully this will make you laugh a little. Have a good time, drink too much, and have a drink for me. Happy birthday, Taylor. So that's from my best friend. So then I got into opening my gift, and I'm just going to not in any particular order tell you guys what's in here. Um, so yeah. Um, there are 21 things in here for being 21. So, the first thing she gave me were pens, these paper made retractable ballpoint pens, and on each little gift there's a little note attached, and this one says, pens, to get that hot guy's number. Uh, 
Um, the next thing was this um, ping pong ball. And it says, a ping pong ball for those emergency beer pong tournaments. There was this mug. And it said, this note says, a beer mug to fill up with a cold brewski on those Florida days. Um, digital camera, or a digital camera, a throwaway camera, disposable, a camera to remember the night. Some of these things <coughs> may be a little inappropriate to tell you guys, so there might be a couple things I don't. Um, body spray to attract the guy who will buy you drinks all night. And this is a Bath and Body Works body spray, white, ginger, and amber. Um, Advil for the god awful hangover headache. It's a little travel size. Gum to hide the scent of alcohol from your boss. And Taylor, that's even funnier because I don't have a job. <laughs> so thanks for reminding me of that. Um, and then on this one, a dollar bill to help chip in for cab fare. And again, like I said, I opened this yesterday, so the dollar bill's gone. <laughs> I used it for tolls. Um, lotion to keep your skin soft for when you're close to your guy. And this is Midnight Kiss, um, 30 Cranberry and Vanilla by Victoria's Secret. <clears throat> um, a two-year planner, 2011-2012. And this says a day planner to figure out what day it is after you black out. Um, this one says hair ties. Goody ouchless hair ties. To hold your hair back when you're puking in the toilet. Let's hope that I don't, it doesn't get that bad. <laughs> Lip Smacker, Let Those Lips Explore. And this is new, actually. It's 100% natural lip gloss or lip balm chapstick. And it's in the scent Vanilla Bean. Um, a keychain to find your keys in the mess or in the massive key pile, meaning I won't be driving if I'm drinking. A birthday candle, make a wish that your ass doesn't land in jail. I think these are so cute. They're sparkly. I love them. Um, an air freshener to freshen that car when you find it in the impound lot. Um, the air freshener is already in my car, so. And it smells amazing. It's like tropical fruit something. Um, a candle to set the mood when you bring a home a one night stand. Yes, that's what it says. And it's in Bartlett Pear. It smells good. It smells good. I'm not sure where it's from now. And then the last few things. Um, a straw to start your drinking off slow. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. This is a little inappropriate, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Um, I think I've mentioned on a video before that I used to sell pure romance stuff. Um, I don't sell it anymore, but there's always this inside joke between my friends and my family. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to go there. But um, she sent me batteries, two AA batteries, in case your one-night stand can't fulfill your needs. And then she said, wink, wink. So if you get it, good. If you don't get it, I'm not going to explain it. Um, just an inside joke in my family. Um, and then this little box, and when you open it, a penny. Make your own luck. She literally just sent me a penny. And it's a 2010 penny, so. 
She could have sent me a 2011 penny since it is 2011, but you know. Um, and then <clears throat> attached to this, um, it says a picture of your BFF to show the brother of the hot guy. Hook me up. Um, and she sent me four pictures of her and I together. One I already put in a frame. Um, but these are old pictures. And I'm going to show you guys these, even though they're embarrassing, because they're funny. But, um, and then she wrote little things on the back. Um, but the first one was this one. This was a long, long time ago. Sometimes in your life you find that special friend. Um, someone who changes your life just by being part of it. Yeah, not some of my best moments, but, you know, good times. Um, someone who makes you laugh until you can't stop. That was actually when she came down with me when I moved. And then the last one is in this frame right here. Um, and it says something along the lines of someone who makes you realize that there are actually still good people in the world. So, um, And then this is really, really funny but really inappropriate. But I'm going to tell you guys anyway because... It's funny. Um, this is going to, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So she sent me, she cut this off of like pajamas or a shirt or something. And I probably don't have to read you what it says because you can probably assume, but it says a cherry backup for when you pop the first one. Which is none of your guys' business, by the way. I'm not saying I have or haven't. So, we're just going to go with that. Um, it was just funny, part of the gift, so whatever. Um, so, that is what my best friend Taylor sent me for my 21st birthday. A 21, um, a night on the town, 21st birthday survival kit. I thought it was such a cute idea. Um, she was really struggling on what to get me. And it sucks because she can't be here. But, Taylor, if you see this, you did an amazing job getting a gift. I love it all. You're really funny. It made me laugh. Um, the only thing that I probably won't be using is the beer mug, but my aunt said that she would use it for me. So. Um, that's just a little look at my first birthday gift. Um, I just thought, you know, it was a unique idea, and I thought I would share with you guys. So, you know, if you guys are looking to get someone a gift and you can't think of something, um, this is a really unique idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope it made you laugh. It made me laugh when I was going through it. So I will talk to you guys all again soon. Bye.